Good morning, everybody. Uh, we'll see how this works. I'm outside. Uh, you can hear I'm right by the street. Uh, hopefully, it's not too loud. I did a test. It wasn't too, too loud when I did the uh, test. Of course, as I do this, a cloud comes in. So, uh, today's video, and hopefully it'll work. If not, uh, I'll do it again later. Uh, I wanted to go through my razors real quick. Just kind of show off what I have. First, I'll show you what I use to hold my razors. A simple toothbrush holder. I have uh, three of these. Probably need to get a fourth at some point in time. But uh, it holds them really nice, and I'll show you in a little bit what they look like. But I'll start off with my uh, some of my vintage razors. This is uh, a 1918 um, Gillette old type. Super aggressive. I really don't use this much. I want to break it out again soon. Uh, see how that works for me again. It's, I used that when I was new to shaving, and it was uh, just wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, but we'll see how that works. Then I've got a 1926 Gillette Tuckaway. Got the case for it and everything. So you can see it's got some really nice knurling in there, nice pattern. It's a really good shaver. It's great for travel. I love the handle for that exact reason. Then I've got my 1930s. Um, it's uh, the Lutz Slant. It was made during the war. Uh, when the German uh, German Germany was in uh, involved in World War II already, uh, to my understanding, these were made before um, America came into the war. So uh, to me, it's just kind of just a cool piece of history. Fantastic razor. It's my only slant, but I really love shaving with it. You can just see it just sparkles. Beautiful look to it. Sun's trying to peek through. And this is a 1940s, uh, the the new head type of the Gillette. Once again, another good shaver. Shaves very similar to the Tuckaway. I tend to use the Tuckaway a little bit more. But once again, really good shaver. Got a good price on it when I first uh, started up on the buy sell trades. Next, we'll go into my single edges. And i show you kind of how. You can see they all just kind of hang in there nice and easy. Go ahead and set that down so I can. And we will go with. First, my uh, Schick injector. I just got this. Um, all these single edges are fairly new to me. This was a piff to me um, by a gentleman, gentleman named Chad, and I'm very grateful. It's a, just a cool, cool little razor. I love the loading, the way it loads, where you have to slide it in this way and ejects the old one out there, just like a rifle would do, or a gun. Just really cool. Got to keep this somewhat short. I got the grill warming up. I'm about to cook up some uh, lunch and dinner for this week. Next, I've got my Ever Ready. This is the first one I ever cleaned up just recently. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful little razor. I don't know the time frame of exactly when the Ever Readies uh, were made like this style. It doesn't really matter to me too much. I'd like to know the history at some point, but it doesn't matter either way to me. It's just a fantastic razor. Next, I've got the uh, gem push button, little pushing locking mechanism there. This is, once again, just another cool concept razor. I like the idea of it, and I just like the fact that at this day and age, it still works. You know, I don't know how old it is exactly. I can look it up because I'm sure the push buttons weren't out for that long, but just the fact that this mechanism works. You know, nowadays we make stuff and it breaks all the time. Next, I've got my uh, my Gem Junior military issue. Got this off of Mike McKinley. I have the case for it with the blade pack. I think there's one blade left in it that came with it. Uh, this is the first uh, single edge razor I got into, and it started my infatuation with them to, to get these other four, three other ones that I have. And it just it's just a really cool razor. Uh, special to me being in the military as well so I'm very thankful for this razor just really cool and now we'll get into my double edge um, more uh, actually all these except for one are a modern razor I'll go with the uh, one vintage real quick and that's my 66 slim adjustable door is still open very nice catches every once in a while but nothing bad at all. Beautiful razor. 
Uh, I think this was, this is actually my second razor. I think I bought this right after my 89. Um, if not, it came right after I got the two Gillette uh, old and new type. I'm not sure which. So this has been with me for almost a year now. I love this razor. I don't use it enough. I really should use it more. Next, and I gotta be careful, this one's loaded. It, I, I loaded it for a picture to show somebody and I haven't taken the blade out yet, but the Phoenix Double Open Comb. And for those who didn't see the video, I wanna show you, just so you get an idea for the size of this razor, comparing it to my Gillette Tuckaway. I did this in another video, or a picture I believe, but this way you can kinda of get an idea for the size of it. It's nice and small. Um, some people don't like the weight of it. I find it to be fantastic. The head works great, and I think it's a, a, a great razor. I put other handles on it and it works really well. Um, I know that it's based off of a different razor. I forget what, what it's called now, and I, at some point I'd like to get that to compare the two. That'd be fun. Next, I got the uh, Maggard MR5. Fantastic handle. It's got some really wonderful heft in it. I love the knurling pattern, and I like that depending if I'm going up tight on my, in one area, I can grab higher, grab lower, and it's got a comfortable spot, but then I can grab down here too, and I know I've still got good solid control. The head performs just like my uh, Edwin Jagger 89 which by the way I don't have in my possession at the moment. Loaned it out to uh, get uh, a friend of mine into uh, wet shaving, so that'll be back at some point in time. But pretty much everybody knows what the Edwin Jagger looks like. Next is my, probably the coolest razor I have, but that's my Genesis, the 3D printed razor. Just super awesome, it's, it's cool. Uh, like I said, just the concept of having a 3D printed razor is really sweet. I wanted to show this off before I send this off to Jaime Cobos uh, for him to explore with it. So I'll send that off hopefully this week. But just a cool, like I said, fantastic razor. The head works on other stuff with this screw. Uh, it just, to me, it was too fun not to try. Then the razor I use today, the Mokur Fuchor. And I'm not decided if I like this yet or not. It's a nice razor. It's got a lot of heft, but it's kind of big and bulky. Uh, so we'll see how that plays in through my uh, time of uh, really enjoying this razor. It's a fantastic design. Um, my, I, I don't the loading of the blade is all right. I like think the kind of concept of popping it off is cool. But once you get it set in, I wish they had instead of I don't know, I wish they like it held the blade in a little bit better because I've had it pop off on me just before I put the cap on. But it's just a nice, fun razor. It looks really cool. I like the the style of it. It just looks very modern. So, well, that's my uh, that's my uh, my den in a nutshell when it comes to razors. Um, I've got a couple straights, but uh, those are probably uh, going to be going away in the near future. Um, slash, um, out on loan. I just don't use them enough, so kind of share them out a little bit. Maybe sell them. Maybe trade them. I don't know. Uh, so I don't want to put those into here because I really don't use them much. Uh, these are more uh, what I really enjoy, especially the, the single edges are becoming a personal favorite of mine. But they all every razor I have, I like, I use, except for that 18. I need to try that some more. But I don't really plan on getting too many more. I might get a couple more, but I really don't see myself having more than, I know it sounds uh, it's still a lot, but uh, no more than like 16, just because I don't think I could rotate them well enough. So everybody, have a great day. Stay blessed, stay in the word, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection. We'll catch you later. God bless.